Okay, I think we're live. I think I have to adjust the lighting. I shouldn't be that dark. I don't know why it's so dark. Uh, let me look at the camera here. Oh, I see. I don't know why it was the brightness was set so dim. There, that's what it should be. That's normal lighting. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Ooh. All right. I see how we can do this. I see how we can do this. Hang on, folks. Let me do it this way. That'll be easier. All right, we have here, look at all these fine folks. Uh, we have here, sorry, I'm having some issues here. Uh, we have here, sorry, one moment. Uh, Alex Duncan is here. Kimberly Barr, Louise, uh, Darth Tater, Flor Morena, Pan Pan, MKD, K Body. Sorry. Mr. Doan, Sarah is moderating. Thanks, thanks, Sarah. Darth Tater. Yeah, I corrected the Tuesday to Wednesday. Friday Boss Man, Flying a Wall. Jimmy, Terry, Rosemary Randolph. Yeah, Pan Pan says Europe is still awake. Louise, Hetty Silovitz, Dragonfire, Don Singleton, Justin Rochkin, Tommy Boy over there on Twitch. Jimmy, Easel Cat. Citizen Phillips, who's in the UK. Bob Messina, Kimberly Barr. Chris Wright. Flying a wall, Jess C. Jack, Terry, Danny James is here. We got some of the Europe folks who are not asleep yet. Look at that. Danny's moderating. All right. Lark Sporadic, Copper Horse. Jack, Kim Hayes, Marlena Martirano, Richard Williams, Gary Eckert. Ryan Teasdale, Ursula Anderson, Lisa Remo, Aquamat, Doug Rupke, Ellen G, Polly is here, the Irish Ladybug is here, Skip who's over there on Twitch, Ewa Susie is here, Flying the Walls here, Moment of Lovely and Sea Swiggum are over there on Twitch. Kangaroo Island TV is here. It's, it's almost 2023. It's Thursday in Australia. Canadian Patriot is here. Kirk Berger. Do I have one of one of my? It's all weird here. That's better. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yasin Kasem, new in town. General Putnam. Did I say MJ? MJ is here. Aluna Moon, Jonah Katz. Is it Kay's birthday today? If it is, happy birthday, Kay, if it's your birthday. Connie Fernandez, Josh, Theo Adventures, Vicky Freeman, Mark French. Fornax is over there on Twitch. Uh, did I say Jackie Morgan? Tony James, Dimpna Reed, Ellie, Lisa Ann Pennington, Moto Go Yo, Mamination, Old Man Yells at Clouds over there on Twitch, Tracy Johnson is here, Cecil Master Jr. is here, uh, John Colombo, Rosie 
Three Call says, my first Lugner live stream. Wow. Christian Bangdal from Sweden. Tim530 on Twitch. Caterfly on Twitch. Uh, let's see. Josh Irish Me. Astra on Twitch. Zombie Carrots. Crazy Mike. One Way Street. Dragonfire. It is Kay's birthday. Happy birthday to Kay Body. Astra on Twitch. A moment of lovely. All right. We are here in the kitchen. We're here live. So I'm actually doing this from my laptop. Um, I wanted to do a stream, but something I wanted to do is, is to, uh, as I get this fixed here, one thing I wanted to do is actually uh, test out the laptop a little bit and just make sure everything's working all right, including the microphone. This microphone, when I've been using it with the laptop, has been cutting out once in a while. So I wanted to see if I could make it through a stream without the, the microphone cutting out. I don't know if it's the microphone or something else. So if we do this stream and the microphone starts cutting out and getting garbly and I have to unplug the mic and plug it back in, I'm gonna return the microphone because I can still return it. So that's, I'm just trying to trying things out, trying to do a stream on the laptop uh, just to kind of do it and make sure all the kinks are worked out for the next time I'm away. I probably should have done this before I went away, but I didn't. But also I, I changed some stuff around. So we're, we're, we're testing out doing this on the laptop. But I can still, even though I'm on the laptop, but I can show you things. So if I wanted to like show you like, not that I'd show you this train of stream, but if I wanted to say, hey, let's look at the New York Times, I could just do this, see? So I, I can still, even I'm on the laptop, I can do uh, I can I can show you stuff from the web, which I can't do on my phone. Oh, now what I now what did I do? I had this plan here. I can see why that won't work. Hang on, let me do something else here. There we go. Ruben Urban is here. Alexi K is here. What I should do is pull this down a little bit. That's better. That, I like that better. Joanne Schlicker is here. Callie Voltaire is here. Lurking while working. Oh, Tariag is here. Tariag says the camera resolution is crisp. I'm on a webcam. Yeah, I'm sorry. We actually, the stream actually started early. I didn't, I, I was just sitting here setting everything up and I didn't realize I was live. Then Callie Voltaire sent me a message saying I was live. And I was like, oops. So, but we, we got it, we got it right. Ooh, I gotta fix something here. I gotta, I don't know how I can do that. I gotta, when this is done, I gotta, there's, a, there's another thing I gotta do when this is done. I gotta write myself a note. I gotta write myself a note. There's something else I gotta fix when this is done. Well, that's why we do these streams, these practice streams. So I know what to fix. Okay, now. Uh, let's see here. Sonic is here as well, if I didn't say that before. Is Rita's here? Rita's here as well. Lisa Remo is here. Let's see. No, we do not do studio tours. Kari Marzen is here. <clears throat> okay, so let me just, give me one second here. Let me just get um, organized here. One second, and then we'll, we'll get into it.
Yeah, I've never done a stream on this laptop in the kitchen. And I've never really done a, I don't think I've done a full laptop stream at home. I've been using the laptop when I travel. No, this is not a new apartment. This is my kitchen. A couple people have said, are you in a new place? I would think the simpler inference to make is that I'm in a different room rather than a new place. Uh, thank you. Ruben is moderating along with uh, Sarah and uh, Danny. Thank you guys for moderating. The sound is muffled. Oh, that could be something. Hold on. Let me check something out. Oh, I know why. I know why the sound is muffled. So stupid. Hold on. We're going to fix the sound. I want to hear for myself how bad it sounds, then I'll fix it. Why can't I find this? Where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah, I'll fix the sound in two seconds. I just want to hear how bad it sounds right now. Testing one, two, three. I'm about to fix it. Testing one, two, three. I'm about to fix it. Should fix it. Let's see. Does that fix it or not? Testing Let's see. one, two, three. I'm about to fix it. Should. Hello, test one, two. Does that fix it or not? That's, testing that's one, better. Two, three. That's better. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, there was a setting I had to hit. That's what I had to do. Thanks for letting me know. I'm about to fix it. That's what I had to do. Thanks for letting me. That's a lot better. Okay. Very well then. Steve Mack is here. Yeah, so I again, part of the reason uh, we're doing this in my kitchen on on the laptop because uh, I want to test out the laptop for a stream and make sure everything's working okay. Oh my gosh, MJ, I haven't even done anything yet. MJ made a nice, a lovely donation. Now what happened? Something else happened here. What happened now? Is, it, is, is there an issue with the picture now? What's going on here? You know. now, what's going oh, on? Oh, here? sorry. I, it's, everything is fine. I was having an issue on my end. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. I, it's, everything is fine. I was having an issue on my end. Yeah, sorry, guys. Everything's okay. That's really weird. I don't know why it does this. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to watch myself on the laptop, and it's this weird thing where I'm watching myself on the laptop, and when I watch myself on the laptop, it's like it looks makes it looks like the the, the the broadcast is paused. But I have it on my phone, and it looks fine. So I I don't know what what the issue is. It's really strange. I can't monitor myself watching it on 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 my own computer. It's really weird. See, yet, yet another thing I, that needs to be fixed. I don't know why that would happen. I'm literally trying to monitor my, broad, my own broadcast, and it looks like it's not working on my own computer, on my laptop. When I look on my phone, it's clearly working. Hmm. I just don't understand that. Well, let me try something here. Let me, I have, I, some, there's something I might have to, I, I have an idea here. Once in a while, there's this weird setting that you have to change. Let's try that. I think I know what it was. Hopefully, let's see. Let's see if this fixes it. I think that's gonna work. Sorry, there was this weird thing going on with my computer.
Okay. Seems better. All right, yeah, so I, I just got back from London yesterday. I got back from London yesterday. Let me see what it looks like when I'm looking right at the computer, right at the monitor, right at the camera, sorry. How is this angle? Yeah, the lighting's a little weird because I don't have my lights set up in here. I have these, these little lights. So the lighting's kind of odd. I don't know if it looks better if I just turn off these lights. If I turn off the lights, it's gonna be dark. Yeah, <laughs> there it is with the lights off. That's with the lights off. I have these little mini lights here. So I'm using the mini lights like I do when I, uh, here, look with the mini lights on. We got that going. Oh, much better. Much better. Leave it like that. Yeah, let, me, let me just these lights a little bit. Okay, anyways. Okay, yeah, London was fantastic. I was there for a week. It was really great. Had a fantastic time. I was there with my girlfriend. Had a lot of fun. Um, I had the laptop there. You know, if there was any, like, huge, huge news, I would have covered it. There were a couple things I might have covered. I probably would have covered if I was in Boston. But, you know, I was I was there for a week. And so my the thing was I was going to... Anything, like, super huge, I would have covered. But I was... If it was something that wasn't as big... Like, I would have covered the Zelensky visit if I was in Boston. But, you know... I was at, we had just gotten there and I was doing stuff uh, with my girlfriend and stuff and going out, out in London. So I chose to not cover a couple things that I considered less, less big. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's going to have to get hidden by me. Someone got hidden by me. Uh, no news in the chat, as our mods will remind you. So that was really fun. I'll tell you a little bit about how that went. Uh, Tommy Boy is here on Twitch. Budget Girl is here. Matt Parker is here. And then the one stream I did do from, uh, from London was the Christmas Eve stream, which was an absolute disaster because I was so tired. Because I started the stream at 2, and I'd gotten up at like 7 a.m. I started the stream at 2 a.m., and I, I was just so tired. I was falling asleep on the stream, and then there was all these technical issues on the stream, too. So it was really a disaster. That's why I privated the video. It's not available anymore. So unless you recorded it, you can't watch it anymore. The mic cuts out. Seize the day says the mic cuts out, then cuts comes back muffled second time it happened this stream. Is that true? Is it, are, is it, it nobody else has complained about the microphone? Is, is, are, is it, it, nobody else Guys, has, is anyone else having a mic microphone problems? I need to know if this is happening. What's going on with the microphone? I'm I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it right now. I'm I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it right now. I'm I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it right now. I'm I'm listening to it. Most people are saying no problem with the mic. But a couple people said there's a problem with the mic. Oh, is it off sync from the video? Right That's now. a whole other thing. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. I'm watching myself on my phone. Oh, is it off sync yeah, from I, the video? Guys, I'm literally, I'm literally watching it on the phone, and it's perfectly synced with the video. 
Testing one, two, three. I mean, all I can say is I'm I'm watching it on my phone right now. I mean, all I can say is I'm I'm watching it on my phone right now. I mean, all I can say is. And I don't know if the quality changed. There's an echo because I'm listening to it on the ear. Oh, I think there's there's one there's one issue though. There's one there's one reason. I I. I Hang on a second here. Am I unmuted now? That's really weird. I don't know what just, I can't, that's really strange what just happened. Somehow, somehow I got muted, but I don't think I pressed the button. Should be unmuted now. Let's see, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, give me one second here. This is why we do this. This is why we do this. That's why this is why I'm doing the stream on my laptop because uh, sometimes things get messed up. All right, but you can hear me now. The mic is clipping. There's a slight buzz on the audio. Yeah, yeah it's hard if I can't hear it myself. What do you mean by clipping? Clipping on the loud sounds? No, oh, there's something I can maybe do for that. Yeah, give me one second here. This is why we do this. This is why we do this. Yeah, I just put on a setting that should help with the clipping. Lower the gain in the mic. It shouldn't be hitting those levels. I'm looking at the levels. It's not hitting the. It's not hitting levels that the mic should be. It, that 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 the, it should be overdoing the mic. But thanks for keep letting me know if you're if you're having issues with the sound. People are saying it's good now. No, the people saying that they're not hearing stuff, they're regulars, they're not trolls. I don't think somebody who's like watched me for three years is trying to troll about the sound. Yeah, it's just I'm using this mic. It's uh, I'm thinking the mic I've been using. Uh, I've been having some issues with, so it's hard because I, I need to use like a little mic on this laptop because when I travel, I, I got to have like a portable microphone I can bring, and so you know the the mic works. It's just I've had some issues with it, so I might try a different one. But you know. But, you know, but, you know. Uh, again, Andrew says it's muffled on TV. I, again, I, I'm listening on my phone. I can hear myself. So, But it's not going to be the same as in the studio because I'm not using the same mic. Well, let me know. If big issues come up, let me know. Part of why I'm doing this is to see if the mic can kind of make it through without sounding all robotic. Okay. Carlos Rose is here. Croat Shamglin is here. Joanna is here. Allison Quinn is here. Jenny Lasseter is here. Julie A is here. JD says you took down your Christmas tree. How do you know that, JD? There was no Christmas tree in the kitchen. Why are you saying you took down your Christmas tree? You have no basis for saying such a thing. Gigi is here. Margaret Machinima is here. Machinina is here. 
Tim Zink is here. Rick Hoppy is here. Hello, hello, hello. A little bits is here on Twitch. Dorian McLean is here. Canwell is here. Okay. Moto Goyo says sometimes having a de-esser working too hot can give the mildly muffled effect. You know, what I can do is kind of lower the levels of the whole thing and see if that helps. Maybe that would help. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. There, the level's a little lower now. Level's a little lower. Testing, one, two. Test, test, test. I lowered the gain. So you might have to turn it up a little. I don't know. Uh... I don't know if that helped because it sounds like things were a little too loud before. Testing one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Testing one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Testing one, two, three, four. Test one, two. Testing one. Seems like it's a little low though, isn't it? Wouldn't you prefer it be wouldn't you prefer it a little louder? TFC Jedi is here. Yeah, the problem is it's just this mic, it's, you know, again, I'm not, the mic I'm using is not the same one as I normally use. I'll bump up the volume a little bit. Testing, one, two, three, four, test, test, test. Test, 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 that's too loud. Test, 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 test. Test, test, test. Uh, the levels look pretty good. Levels look pretty good. Okay. Anyways, yeah, guys, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not even using. Remember, the laptop is something I use on occasion. I don't regularly use the laptop. Oh, thanks, Hetty. Wow, so nice of you, Hetty. All I've been doing is fixing my sound. Thank you, Hetty. It's very nice of you. Thanks again to MJ as well. Um, Rune, Runa, Rune says the sound is fine on Twitch considering you're on a laptop. Yeah, so uh, I got back from London yesterday. It was great. I had a great time. Uh, we're back here. We're in the kitchen because I wanted to test out the laptop because we only did one stream with it in London, and I wanted to test it more and make sure everything's doing okay with it. And I want to see you guys. Oh, thanks. Uh, hold on a second. We have somebody else I have to hide. I have to hide somebody else. Someone is making donations under false names <laughs> and getting hidden. I don't. There wasn't one favorite thing I did on my trip. Uh, you know, we, we we saw a lot. Of, we went to a lot of different neighborhoods in London. 
Uh, we had both been there before, so we had done some of the more touristy stuff. The touristy stuff can be great. I mean, I went to Tower of London years ago, and that was great. But um, we tried to just go to a lot of neighborhoods and see a, just a bunch of the city, walked around a ton. Um, and uh, one thing I really enjoyed is we visited a friend of mine. I have a friend who I hadn't seen in years, and she lives with her family. She's a husband and kids, and she lives outside of the city well it's technically in i guess greater london but it's zone three if that means anything to you it's like a probably 15 miles from the center of town uh and she lives in acton i think it was and she just has a she has a house uh it's like a regular house on a street with a bunch of houses there are these like townhouses where they're they're like all connected in a row but uh, it was really cool to see how like a regular family lives in London and not even right in the center of the city, you know. So I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks, Painting Services by Steve, for your support. Thank you, Painting Services by Steve. That's very kind of you. Uh, Eileen says Acton is a nice area. Alex says Acton is nice. Oh, thanks, Joe. Uh, although I don't know about that comment, Joe. Joe, I'm timing you out because of your comment. Uh, Alexi says, I've lived in Acton. It's not that far from center. Well, compared to where you'd go... you know, normally go on a trip, how many miles is it? Uh, it's probably a few miles. Well, 15 miles is probably too many. Maybe like five miles. Look, Acton. I, I, you know, there's, here's like the center of town here. There's Westminster. So, yeah, it looks like maybe like five miles or something. I said 15. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't walk it. Uh, and it's it's zone three on on the underground, so it's it's not somewhere you'd normally go if you were visiting London. But it was really cool to see just a residential area. Matt says Acton is less London, a large residential suburb. Excuse me. Yeah, we were staying in South Kensington. We were staying in South Kensington, which is, where is it here? Down here. We, like, we're right around here is where we were staying. Matt used to live in Hammersmith. Yeah, so we went to a lot of neighborhoods. I mean, we, we just, just as an example, we went, we were in Soho, we were in City of London, we were in Chelsea, we were in South Kensington, we were in Notting Hill, we went to, uh, you know, we went to Westminster, we walked, uh, we did some stuff on the, we, we went through, um, where were we? We were also on the south side of the river. So we, we walked all in the like Waterloo area, Borough Market we went to down here on the south of the river. Um, Southwark. Then we went up to this place, uh, Hampstead Heath. We went up to this place, Hampstead Heath, where you get a really good view of, of the city. Uh, we went to uh, Camden Town and Camden Market. We went to Camden Market. <laughs> we went to a lot of places. Uh, we walked through Hyde Park. You know, we we went through there. We went to Kent. We went to you know, Kensington Palace. We did some other parks. We covered a lot of ground. Oh, we went to Clapham. A friend of mine lives in Clapham. 
See, see it says Clapham Common, which is down here. So we took the train down to Clapham to visit my another friend of mine. Covent Garden, we were there. Yep, sure. Matt likes Camden Market. A little overpriced, I think, for what you get. I liked it. Felt like the food was a little too expensive for what you get. But maybe it's kind of seen as like a higher-end market. Um, oh, thanks, Richard Williams. Thank you, Rich. Richard. Richard gives a shout-out to Rick Hoppy. It's too bad I didn't get to see any of our viewers in uh, the UK. It was made a little more difficult by the train strike. There was a train strike going on where on a number of days, the trains just, a number of days, the trains beside the underground didn't run. Polly, what were you run, wondering about, Polly? So sadly, I didn't get to see any of our viewers there. We were trying to make it happen. It just didn't happen. It was really good to, though. Oh, I got to talk. I had I had fish and chips. I'll show you a couple pictures. I had fish and chips three times while I was there. I had three different fish and chips. The chips are great. The chips are so good. Joe, you can't be watching if you're just eight. I don't know if you're eight or you're lying. If you're just eight, you need parental supervision, and you shouldn't be donating if you're eight. Um, I don't know how you're donating if you're eight. Do you have an eight-year-old? Are your credit card as an eight-year-old? Uh, yeah, Richard Williams, I, I very much enjoyed mushy peas. I did enjoy mushy peas. Um, the uh, I had fish and chips at three different places. Where were they? I had it at... Borough Market, I had it at Elite Fish and Chips, and I had it at, uh, what was the third one? Camden Market. So in th the chips are like French fries there, but the good ones are much thicker and like less crispy and more potato-y than American fries. I loved it. I loved the really good chips. Way better than French fries in the U.S. And uh, I'll actually show you. I should have some pictures here of that. Oops. Let me get back to me. And I'll show you some pictures. of the. I got to talk about this, this uh, elite fish and chips. Oh, I got to leave reviews for places, too. I didn't. I didn't want to leave reviews for places while I was there. I said I'd do it when I get back. So I got to do that as well. Callie says this is going to make me hungry. Give me a moment here. Let me just get this. One moment. Hang on. Hang on a second. Just give me a second. I got to do this now. So I can get you some pictures. I do have pictures. I just need to get them out to show you.
Okay, I'm pulling up some pictures for you. Let's see if I can make this work. Makawaka is here on Twitch. Hello, Makawaka. Okay, so let me go to get these pictures from my wonderful trip to Elite Fish and Chips. Hey, thanks, Hanyel. Was the exchange rate decent when I was there? Um... I think it was decent, but I, I never exchanged cur currency. I pretty much used my credit card for everything. You can just pay with, you know, tap your credit card or pay with Apple Pay. I think it was like one point, what was it? Like a, like a pound, the pound is like $1.20 or something. So it wasn't that bad. But I wasn't even like checking. I mean, I never went and like, I never went and like gave dollars and got back pounds. I just, I, I almost, almost everything I paid for, I just used a credit card. Even on the subway, you just tap your credit card. All right, I got Elite Fish and Chips. Let's see if I can fit this on the screen here. It's going to work. So we, the first fish and chips place I went to, one of my best meals that I liked the best in, in London was this place. Elite Fish and Chips. All right, all right. Joe, I'm warning you. Joe, you're going to get hidden. Stop, Joe, or you're going to get hidden. Why can't I show you this? What is happening here? Why is it doing this? It's not letting me get the whole photo in. It's acting all weird. Hmm. Uh, I have to. I have to make an adjustment here to show you these photos. Hang on a second here. Let me just figure this out. Yeah, it's because I'm on the laptop. Let me just figure this out. Hang on. That should work. Let's do it this way. Okay, so that's the place. This is in this place called Bermondsey. A couple days in, I really wanted to get fish and chips. So I looked on Google Maps, and there were a couple good places in Bermondsey. I didn't know anything about Bermondsey. So I said, let's take the sub, let's take the train there. It was only a stop away from Borough Market. And uh, let me show you, Bermondsey is right here. See, it says Bermondsey right there. Again, not that far from, where did it go? Not far from Borough Market, sorry. So I was like, let's go to Bermondsey. Um, so, so we went to Bermondsey, but like, once we once we started walking, we, we got off the subway and then we started walking towards this this fish and chips place. And like it was like a, it, it wasn't like a it wasn't like a bad area. It just was kind of just nondescript. It was kind of like, oh, this doesn't doesn't feel like the areas we've been in. And so we got we got we were two fish and chips places I was considering in Bermondsey and they both said they only took cash. And it was like there weren't many people around. 
So I was like, I don't even know if we're going to eat at these places. But I decided we, we decided that I we would get cash and, and I'd try out uh, this one, Elite Fish and Chips. It had very good reviews in Bermondsey. There was hardly anyone inside. And then I went inside and the woman working there, I asked her, what's the best? What's the best fish here? They have all these different kinds of fish. And she said she didn't know because she didn't eat fish. <laughs> but then she asked the cook, and the cook said, get the haddock. So I got the haddock. So all they, what they did is they literally take the whole fish, and I, I guess they bone the fish, and then they dip the whole fish in, um, in batter or whatever, and then you get this wonderful plate. Look at what, look at what happened. Look at this, guys. By the way, this is what it looks like inside. I should post these photos when I do my review. See, Elite Fish and Chips. It's not a very fancy place there at Elite Fish and Chips. It's a real local place. But look what they gave me. Guys, look what they gave me at Elite Fish and Chips. Oh, look at those chips. Look at those chips. They're, they're much thicker than fries. I wish I had a plate of those last now. They're much more potato-y than french fries. Oh, it's really good. Basically, it was like one fish just took the fish and battered it up. It was haddock. Matt says bad fish and chip shops don't last long. Polly says they have your tables. Which tables? Those tables, Polly? It was really good. No, that's mushy peas. And here is mushy peas, which Richard mentioned. Mushy peas are great. Mushy peas is like this uh, British staple. They're really good. I really like mushy peas. They remind me of something. I, what do they remind me of? Oh, they remind me of refried beans. They actually remind me of refried beans. Now you just eat them with a spoon or, or a fork. Uh, the price for this, I think, was around 12 pounds. It was reasonable. My table and chair set up. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a small, these are small tables. If that's what you mean, Polly, like the size. Yeah, it was really good. So I, there's a pic, couple pictures of me eating. Hold on, I'll show you the pictures of me eating it. I gotta write a review for them. Look at look at me. Look at how excited I am. Look at how excited I am about my elite fish and chips. By the way, at this point, there's like no one in there. There's like a couple in there that's just sitting there, an older couple who looks like they've just been sitting there for two hours. So it seemed like maybe a bit sus this place, but it was clearly this 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 was not a neighborhood that I don't think they get many tourists in this neighborhood. It seemed like we went distinctly outside of the tourist area to go here. And, rem and all these places only took cash. No, I did not have mint sauce with my mushy peas, Richard. I didn't know about that. Was the fish very fishy? Yeah, I mean, you could see this, like if, if you looked... If once you cut into the fish, you could see like the, you know, the skin of the fish. No, no one recognized me there in London. The peas are hot. Gordon says, is my sound messing up? Every 15 minutes, somebody says their sound is messing up and then nobody else says it's messing up. Please let me know if the sound is messing up. But it seems like it's fine. For most people, it's fine, I think. Ishii is here. I 
Everybody's saying it's good. Maka Waka says fine. Everybody's saying it's fine. Here, here's a close-up. Look at this. Oh, my gosh, was that good. Look at those chips. Look at those chips, guys. I could eat those chips every day. They do not have those here. All right, thanks for the feedback on the sound. Pete and Betsy is here. Yeah, I really got to do a review of them. I, I, I got to get my reviews done this week. The Blue Packets uh, tartar sauce, which I don't like. No, they're not steak fries. They're not steak fries. They're smaller than steak fries, and they're better. Beth says you can make those chips at home. Well, maybe I'll figure it out one day, but they're really good. <coughs> no, I did not get scraps. Uh, let's see what else other pictures I have of elite fish and chips. There you go. There's some. Look at that. Look, it was so yummy. So I put a bunch of salt on it. Thank you, Ruben Urban. Thanks, Ruben. That's really nice of you. Uh, good to see you, Ruben. We got Ruben moderating. And uh, Sarah and Danny James have been moderating. Hang on a second here. We also had moderating. Um, one moment here. Papa Bear. Hey, thanks. Oh, wait, no, no, not Papa Bear. Pa this was it's wrong channel. I gotta figure out, figure this out. One moment here. I gotta get this set up. Get the get the whole Twitch thing done right. How do I do this? Okay, give me one moment. Hey, thanks, Andrew C. Thanks so much, Andrew C. I appreciate that. Andrew C. Mm, oh, I thought I did wrong. Hold on. Let me figure this out. Give me one sec. Give me hold one on. second here. Oh, no, hold give on. Now I'm hearing two of myself. Didn't want to do that. How do I get to... Uh... Mod view. There we go. I think. I think. Ah, we got a moment of lovely in Skip Fu. Our moderating over there on Twitch. That's what we have. A moment of lovely in Skip Fu. Oops. Thanks, a moment of lovely for the bits over there on Twitch. Thank you. Uh, Joe, last warning, Joe. Last warning, Joe, and that's it. Joe, next time you're gone. Next time you're gone. Look, here's another picture of the fish from Elite Fish and Chips. See, I'm, I, I made, I really enjoyed it. Mmm, 
That was good. And then... Then we have uh, that. See, see, you can see the skin of the fish in there, right in there. Look at that. That's the end. I I ate everything. David says, UK has a local chip shop in every town or village called a chippy. It's the staple diet alongside curry. I did see a bunch of fish and chip shops. A lot of times there weren't that many people in them. Hey, Al Bo is here. Good to see you, Al Bo. Now, the green stuff is mushy peas. Rewind about five minutes and you'll hear me talk about it. There were no bones in it. And then here I am after eating. Matt Parker says, my town has around 30,000 populations and five chip shops. Chips or fish and chips? Corrine Louise says, Friday is fish day over here, and that's the best day to visit. If a chip shop is busy, it's a good sign they are good. You know, one other thing about being there when I was there is, like, one of the one of the Uber drivers told us that uh, lots of people leave London for the holiday. Also, because this was, like, the first year in a couple of years that... Uh, there weren't a lot of COVID regulations. One of our Uber drivers estimated that like around half the people who would normally be in London weren't there around when we were there because it was Christmas holiday time. So maybe there would normally be more people in this place. Also, we went at a weird time. We went to this place at like 3.30 or 4, you know. So as we were leaving, some more people started coming in. It, again, it was a really local place. It just seemed very local. Elite fish and chips. See, all these people just sitting out. I don't even know if they're eating. It's local people. Dead Wing's going to London in February. Very nice. Staying in the West End. Yeah, we saw a show in the West End. Matt says, fish and chip shop or just chip shop or chippy all the same. So I, I'm going to leave a review of this place. Uh... But I'll show you where I'll, I'll show you if you if you're ever in London and you want to go out of the way somewhere where probably not many tourists go, and you're okay with it not looking like all fancy like some parts of London are. Check out Elite Fish and Chips in Bermondsey. Oh, it's Elite Fish Bar is the name of it, I guess. Elite Fish Bar. See, it says Elite Fish Bar. Now it's doing this. Why is it doing this? There. Oh, now I know. Has very good reviews, though. It's got good reviews on TripAdvisor, too. But again, it didn't seem like the kind of place many tourists go. What I can do is I can show you like what it looks like around there. Yeah, there it is right there. So if I go down here, I'll show you what it looked like there. There were not as many people as this when we were walking around.
That's it right there. It's like they're shooting a movie here. <laughs> looks like Google Maps got this when they were shooting a movie. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So we had to walk to get there. We had to like walk down this street from the subway. Then you're walking down the street and you're like, where are we? I remember walking down there. Blue Anchor Lane. Anyways. Hey, Welsh32 is here. Oh, Corrine says, can't beat the seaside for fish and chips. I did not get to the seaside. David suggested the seaside towns too. I didn't get there. Like Brighton? We were going to maybe go to Brighton. Alexi K says London is nice to visit. There can be living there can be quite frustrating and stressful. I need my um my chapstick. Quick news check, guys. Just making sure nothing crazy is happening here. Otis Jr. says the fish looks delicious. Uh, do they talk much about the king? Uh, Ruben says, I mean, I didn't talk to that many local people. We kind of toured around a lot. I saw a few of my friends there, but I don't know how much people talk about the king there. Yeah, the uh, the weather was was good. Uh, every day it was pretty much 50 degrees Fahrenheit high in the low 50s, and the low was like in the low 40s. And it was it was we had the majority of days there was some sun and clear skies. I mean, it would get cloudy, but a lot of the time we were there it was clear skies. I was I didn't expect to see the sun at all when I was there, so that was really cool. It was better than, way better than Boston weather. So I was very happy with the weather. It doesn't get as cold in uh, in London as Boston does. They rarely have snow. It really, it usually doesn't accumulate there. So, um, yeah, it was good. It was good. All right, so I talked about elite fish and chips. I might as well talk about the other fish and chips I had. There was a place I went. Oh, I, I got fish and chips at Borough Market. Borough Market is uh, south of the Thames River, just south. It's just, it's one of the best known markets in London. And they have like a huge amount of food stalls at Borough Market. Um, and so we went and I tried the fish and chips at one of the places and it was quite good, quite good. Unfortunately, you can't really sit, you have to like sit outside and it's a little cold and stuff, but uh, it was still good. I'll, I'll show you that too. I'm just going to talk about fish and chips the whole time. That was one of my goals for the trip is to get a bunch of fish and chips. 
Let's see if I can find the, uh, where is it? Where is? I know I have pictures of it. Mm, mm. Uh, I, I think I found, no, wait, that, I keep skipping over it. Why are those there? All right, that's it. Joe's gone. No one wants to listen to Joe anymore. Joe's hidden. Joe's gone. Joe, you're out. You're out. I, I can't take it anymore, Joe. Joe's gone. I I'm sorry. It's it just, I, I can't listen to it anymore. Erica's here. Erica the pharmacist. I think hadn't hadn't Joe been warned again and again and again? <laughs> yeah, MJ says he's glad he was gone. I mean, he's just disturbing everybody. What can I do? I appreciate somebody wanting to donate, but he's either lying, saying he's eight years old, or he's telling the truth in which he should not be donating. Right, hang on, I'm trying to find, where is, where are the pictures of when we went to Borough Market and I got fish and chips there? Why is it so hard to find these? Maybe I didn't take a picture of my fish and chips. Here's the place, guys, here's the place I got fish and chips at. Bennett, I wonder if I didn't take a picture of them. That's weird. Are you ready? I got I got the place, I got the fish and chip. Maybe I was so excited about them, I didn't take a picture of them. Uh, I got the place here. Here it is. Fish Kitchen. Why is this happening? Oops. Fish Kitchen. And then that's what the fish looked like there. And then, um, so the fish and chips there was good. And I also had a meat pie. I had this meat pie thing from, from Pie Minster. You know, like Westminster, Pie Minster. And they sold these pies at Borough Market. And I had a meat pie, which I guess is a very standard, oops, standard. I'm, I'm showing you pictures of, of, of my anonymous girlfriend, <laughs> which I'm not supposed to be doing. Let's stick to the pies. There we go. There we go. That's what I want to show you. Mead pie. Um, so you can see that see there's meat in there. Now hold on a second. No. Oh. My girlfriend just happened to text me. And I was like, oh, is she watching? You happen to text just seconds after I accidentally briefly showed a photo of both of us on the stream while showing food, London photos.
I thought she was watching and texting me about it, but she was not. She was texting me about pasta. Anyways, one in the world, Pepe's, Pepe's fan, Peeps fan. I think it's Peeps fan. Peeps fan, that's so generous of you. Peeps fan, oh my gosh. That's unbelievably generous of you. Wow. Wow, what a kind and generous donation from Peeps fan. Peeps fan, I don't know what to say. I say Peeps fan because I think it's Samuel Peeps, and I think the name of Samuel Peeps is pronounced Peeps. So correct me if I'm wrong, but that's why I'm saying Peeps fan. Wow. Hey, uh, Peeps fan, it's very kind of you. Man. Thank you, Peeps fan. Peeps fan, if I can send you like a mug or t-shirt or something, let me know. That's unbelievable. Yeah, a Welsh says might be Joe with his dad's credit card. Now, Peeps fan is 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 someone who's been here before. Terry says blown away with that donation. Oh no, Joe two. Joe two is now hidden. Joe two just got hidden. Um. Yeah. Polly says you should show meat pies more often. Hey, Linda Gordon is here. All right, again, hey, hey Peeps fan, that, that is just so kind of you. I, again, it's really, really generous of you. Thank you so much, Peeps fan. That's really nice of you. Wow. Um, again, this place is called Pie Minster. High Minster at Borough Market. Um, the, the 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 their pies are I thought were I mean I liked the quality of the pie I just don't really like steak I don't like that steak pie that much I guess that's a sta a staple it's a staple of uh it's like a famous British pie it's a steak pie there it is. Pie Minster. Keep your eyes on the pies. It's like steak and gravy in a pie. Oh, Matt says you can buy Pie Minster pies in supermarkets. The leek and cheese one is lovely. Um, you know what? My girlfriend might not be my girlfriend anymore because because I accidentally showed a picture on the stream for like a half a second of her of us both, and then she had texted me about the uh, she had texted me about something else right after. I thought she was texting me about that, but but it turns out she was texting me about pasta. So I uh, I wrote her back I, just a few a few minutes ago. I said, oh, I I thought you might be texting about the fact that I accidentally showed our picture on the stream for a brief second. Then she has she hasn't texted back. So I might be single by the end of the stream. Anyways. Whatever. We'll talk about it later. I can always delete the broadcast if need be. I like people saying we didn't see it. Um, Jet Girl says I only saw pies.
Oh, she says it's fine. She says it's fine. <laughs> so we're still together. She just texted me. She wasn't watching. Oh my gosh, she says she she actually said I could show a pic of us. Wow, this is guys, you're you're seeing some drama here. She just texted me and she said you can show a pic of us if you want. I gotta I'm gonna send her back googly eyes emoji. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to. <laughs> now I'm going to be the one that says we're not showing a picture. General Putnam says we saw nothing. No, I don't, um, you know, I don't, uh, generally speaking, I don't show pictures of friends of anybody on the stream, like uh, like friends or family members or significant others. Yeah, because of all the kooky people out there. No, I agree with Polly. Polly says it was bound to happen eventually. Yeah, no, I mean, at a certain point. So I'm just letting her know what's going on. I think we I think we might just leave it at that. Uh yeah. No, I mean so anyways. Who knows? Maybe one day she'll come on the stream. By the way, guys, uh there will be a New Year's Eve stream. I am doing a New Year's Eve stream on um Friday. So Friday we're doing the the normal New Year's Eve stream. Sorry, I, I just had to message back my girlfriend because she was asking um, about the picture thing. Saturday? Oh, it's Saturday? I'm sorry. Yes, it is Saturday, not Friday. Yeah, it's, it's Saturday. Sorry, it's the 31st. It's Saturday. Friday would be a long stream. Um. So, yeah, it'll be Saturday night, New Year's Eve. Friday, we're doing the Patreon, which we haven't gotten to this, this month. Um, Saturday uh, night, I think I'll probably start at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, Sarah says, I like how it gets rid of the name now. What do you mean, Sarah, about that? Oh, on the super chats, if the person gets hidden, the name goes away. That's interesting.
All right, so we talked about we talked about fish and oh, I'll show you the last fish and chips. It's it's really dumb. I can't believe I didn't take a close up of the fish and chips from Borough Market. That's really stupid. Is Rita still here? I gotta open her package too. There's so many packages here. We're so behind. Mr. Boss Nevis is here. I'm I'm going back. Oh, I got another. I do I do have a picture to show you. Well, I gotta figure out. I have, I, I have to figure out if I can show you that one. That's a different thing altogether. Uh, let me see if I have a picture of the fish and chips from. Uh, from the second place. No, I didn't. I, I did not take a picture. Oh, I, I do have a better meat pie picture though. Guys, here's a picture of the meat pie. Here's a better picture of that pie minster meat pie. Look, see? Why is it doing this? There, right there. There is the pie minster meat pie. <clears throat> it's not like a stew in the pie it's like a, it's like beef and gravy and some vegetables in a pie yes Polly, it is like regular pie crust yeah i think it was a steak and ale one it was fine i just i i didn't I like steak and I like pie. I just didn't love, didn't love the whole, I had a couple meat pies when I was there and I just didn't love it. Maybe I just don't like them together. I didn't get that bangers and mash thing. Um, oh, so let me show you the last, uh, the last of the, of the fish and chips I had. The last fish and chips I had was at at Camden Market. Camden Market's this this market in Camden where they have all these different small stalls that sell food and also a lot of places that sell like clothing. It's like this big outdoor, you know, market with independent sellers. Um and the food's pretty good. There's a lot of different food choices. It's kind of a little bit like, like the good thing about the food, it's a little unconventional. There's a lot of ethnic food and stuff and food with a twist. It's a bit expensive though, I think, for what you're getting. But it's a fun place to visit. So like, here's what Camden Market looks like. That's not a great picture. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you that picture. Yeah, so like here's like a picture of Camden Market. If I can do this. See, so like it's this market and there's all these stalls and people are outside and you're all walking around. It's a popular place. And then there is the fish place. It had good reviews. Fish and chips. Ink fish and chips. So that's the third place I got fish and chips. Sid Vicious says mic problems. Is there a mic problem, anyone? Let me show you what the fish and chips looks like. No. Uh, thank you. Mic is fine. Look, fish and chips. There's my fish and chips from Ink Fish and Chips. Now, a problem with the chips here is these chips were not like the other chips I had. These chips were more like American chips. They were thinner. I was disappointed with the chips because I wanted them to be more like thick and potato-y like the other chips I had. The fish was good. Uh, it was a bit smaller uh, than the other fish I had. And also, this was more expensive. This was like seven, 16 or 17 pounds, I think, for this. Maybe 15. I don't know. I think it was 16 or something. But it just, it was fine. It just, 
it, the the other two fish and chips I had were better fish and better chips. And the, the chip, the fish was pretty good, but the other two I had were better fish, better chips, and also more, and also less money. But this is kind of a like higher end. I, I again, it's it's not fancy, but it's kind of like a, you know, like a sort of a little bit of an upper scale. I feel like market this Camden market. The pink is some sauce which I didn't really like. Yeah, the fish and chips place at Borough Market is quite good. Alexi says Camden is a tourist place. I don't, well, I mean, you mean Camden Market. But I mean, Camden Market, it's fun to stop by. But yeah, it's like, it's like food trucks. You know, like, you know, like there are these like kind of fancy food trucks that, you know, maybe they, they do things a little differently and they charge a little more. It's kind of like that. But I like that I got to have fish and chips three times. I had fish and chips three times. Shema Brown says 450 for that round my area. You know, what I'd love to do, it's what it would be great to do is like go there and like for three weeks eat fish and chips every day and really compare all the fish and chips. Deadwing the underground is great. You know, a thing about London, a thing about London is there is really good public transportation and there's public transportation all over the place. There's there's lots of subway lines. Uh, there's lots of buses. It's very easy to get. I mean, you can just pay with your credit card or your Apple Pay. You just tap it and get on. Um, there's actually a limit. If you stay in certain areas, you can only get charged so much, like seven pounds a day or something like that. And it's just, it's really easy to get from place to place. As my girlfriend put it, it's like, if you're just somewhere in London and you want to go to some other place, there's, it seemed like every time that happened to us, there was a bus or a train or like one bus and one train that was an easy combination to get there. But very often, like we would just hop on a train and go from A to B or just, we, you know, we just find a bus that just goes there and you just get on the bus and, and they come regularly. Uh, there's in London, uh, in at least, at least the sort of London, not like extended London, there's not that many like big roads like not that many like big highways um it's a lot of like more smaller streets not the big highways uh but uh which is which is i think is nice but there's all these bus lines and train lines and it's just very easy to get from place to place we walked a lot too but i really liked that aspect of it eileen says it's easy to get around there so, yeah, I mean, it's just, again, it's very easy to, you know, you just get an, you either use like Google Maps, there's an app called City Mapper, which you can use, and you can just put in like, I want to go from here to here, and it just will give you options for, for getting there. No, I, I had been there twice before, but I hadn't been there for like 18 years. Rick says, I found city tour buses are actually worth doing for an overview. Yeah, that can be the case, definitely. Uh, you know, we had fun. We got on a couple of those double-decker buses, and you get on the top of the double-decker bus, and you just sit on it, and you and you get a really nice tour of, of the area. So I really liked the buses. Uh, I really liked the underground. It was great. I, I loved it. I loved when I lived in New York City, uh, I used to um, take the subway all the time, and, and I loved that part of it. So it was really great being somewhere where the public transportation was so good, and you could just jump on and jump off and see a lot and get places. I, I think I have a, a photo maybe of, of when we were on the bus of a nice view we had. Let's see if I can find it here. I definitely put, took some bus pictures.
Yeah, so for example, like here's one where we're just sitting on the bus. We're on the top floor of the bus and the bus is driving around. And you just if you can get that front seat, it's a really nice view. Matt says it's easier to get around London by public transport than in a car. Oh, I have a ton of pictures from this trip. Thanks, Sing Neon. David says the underground is the best. Richard says, I took my kids to the Natural History and Science Museums two years ago, and the transport is, there's a, a raindrop. But then the message was retracted, so maybe there was a typo in it. See if I can find uh, the uh, another one of the bus pictures. Actually, in retrospect, I think if it, we, we would have taken the bus even more. We took the subway a lot, and we ended up liking the buses so much when we took them because you just get to see so much of the city. If you sit on top of the bus, um, that we thought in retrospect we could have taken the buses more. No, we didn't go to any soccer games when I was there. I did that last time I was there, which was great. I'd love to do that again at some point. Holly says, if you go back and do a fish and chip place comparison series of videos, then it can be attacked right off too. Polly, I think though you can't like, I think if I was going to write off the trip, I think the primary purpose I'm guessing would have to be to do those videos. I don't think I could get away with writing off the trip uh, if like I went there for a week and made like a three comparison videos. I don't know. But I'd have to be sure. But obviously, it, it can't be the case that, like, you know, you make like, you do a couple little videos, and it seems it seems to me it can't be the case that it's you'd have to be like doing a very significant amount of work when you were there. I would think. Yeah, talk to the accountant. No, and and, and yeah, I mean, there is definitely like. You know, I, I've thought about doing a trip where, where it's more of like more of the primary purpose is to do some videos. So maybe one day I'll do that. Here is the uh, picture of. Um, hang on. Oh, here it is. Look, so this is really cool. Uh, where is it? So this is when I was on a bus and we were going across a bridge. So we're on the bus. Uh, these are just two people sitting next to us who we don't know. And then there's the Tower Bridge. So we one of the bridges we were going on the bus and we got like a really nice view of uh, of the bridge there. That's from the bus. The Thames River, exactly. There was a really great... Um, Museum. Somebody asked, did you go to any museums? And I will talk in that. I, I do have, I, I did get a standard. Here's your standard, uh, here's your standard photo to my proof of life photo, my proof of trip photo with me. Oh, you can't see Big Ben in that picture because I'm, I'm, I'm hiding Big Ben with, with myself. Let me just take myself out of the picture. There, there's Big Ben. 
So I, I was in London. See, I was really there. With my minimalist shoes. Man, my minimalist shoes, it was so good. I walked, there were there were several, there were a couple days I walked over nine miles. My feet did not hurt once. Just with my minimalist shoes. I walked everywhere. My feet never got sore. They felt great. No, Carlos says, I get your feet, guess your feet didn't hurt anymore. No, I we walked so many, I walked so much. <laughs> Link to the shoes. Well, read up on them. I, I wear this these shoes called Zero Shoes, Z -E -Z X E R O. but you don't want to start trying minimalist shoes unless you've read about them and, 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 and understand what they're all about. They're a huge change from, from the kind of shoes people normally wear. They have basically no cushioning, very little cushioning. Uh, you're, they're flat, unlike a raised heel shoe, which most leisure shoes are in the U.S. and a lot of other countries. Uh, and, and wide toe box, it's very different, and you do have to get used to them. So it's not something, odds are, that you can just switch to. Uh, for example, because they're flat, your heel will be lower, and if you just suddenly switch them, you can really strain your Achilles because you're not used to having a flat heel walking. Um, but I'm used to them now because I've been using them and going barefoot around the house for like over a year now, but it's incredible. I mean, even, even before I had my really bad foot problems the last couple of years, if I walked this much, I would have had sore feet. Never once. I could have kept walking and walking and walking. It's incredible. It's just because my feet are stronger now because I go barefoot all the time at home and I wear these barefoot shoes when I'm out. That's what the difference is. But it was just like miraculous that I could walk Day after day, some days like nine miles or more, just never sore. On a shoe which does which has very little cushioning at the bottom. They're basically just covers for your feet. But yeah, read about barefoot shoes and minimalist shoes. Uh, Zero is a brand, X-E-R-O. These are the Zero Prios. I like Zero Prio, but yeah, you really want to watch some videos and read up on them. It's not something odds are that you can transition to right away. And if you do, you might hurt yourself. It's a big transition. No, no socks, no socks. Never wear socks. Yeah, I, that's another point. No socks when I'm walking around. But yeah, you, it, it was a whole, if you missed it, guys, watch the streams from like last August like August of 2021, when I couldn't even walk down the street. I was having huge foot problems. And I was wearing the cushiony, most cushiony shoes you could buy. That was an, like in the summer of 2021, it got so bad I couldn't even walk. Then I switched to going barefoot all the time. Yeah, it was, it was it's a pretty incredible transition. So that was cool. Um, yeah, Julius, there are Jennifer TV shirts. The mods can post about that. Hey, thanks to our mods, by the way. Again, we have um, Sarah modding, Danny James was modding uh, before. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Ruben Urban, great to see Ruben there in Florida. Uh, Skip Fu in a moment of lovely over there on Twitch. I should have put in the title that we're talking about the London trip. Well, I'll put it in the uh, title after maybe. My feet don't get cold for whatever reason. They're walking around. They're fine. They were not cold. I, I thought my feet would get colder in the winter without with my, I, I don't, I mean, I guess the shoes, they, they, they keep them warm somehow. Maybe feet just heat up when they're in shoes and they're, and they're walking around. But the whole time I was there, my feet were never cold. Uh... 
one of our viewers asked about says LA Danger Flash says would it weird to be put an arch support insert in a zero? So just so you know, LA Danger Flash, my whole adult life I wore arch supports, and I no longer wear them. I wore these custom orthotics my whole adult life, but I strengthened my feet. But it would sort of defeat the purpose, I think, to put the arch uh, to put the arch support in the zero shoe. I mean, for some people they need them, but I I got to the point where, anyways, it's I don't want to go over this. This is it ends up being a whole other video. But I used to wear arch supports for everything, and now I do everything without them, and I run on the treadmill barefoot. Susie is here. A little bits is over there on Twitch. Yeah, watch some videos about the shoes. Watch some videos about barefoot shoes. There's a lot of people who 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 posted videos about them on YouTube. Yeah, Joanna, I talked to Joanna about this. I think Joanna Joanna used to have supports, and again, the supports. I had some real foot problems when I was young, and. The supports initially helped me, but I think I ended up becoming reliant on them. Jan Joanna says, I can go around barefoot now, and I am okay with it. Joanna, send me an update. I know you were uh, you were experimenting with uh, with with more minimalist shoes and going barefoot. I'd love to get an update from you. Hang on. I'm just doing a little news check here. A little bit, a little news check. Uh, Derek is watching us on his new Christmas present Alexa show 15 while doing the dishes. Look, this is at Derek at One Way Street's place. He has an Alexa show 15. Nice. Which I guess can show YouTube. Very nice, Derek. I want to show you guys um, this cool museum I went to. Yeah, the Buffalo Blizzard, I, I might have call, covered that if I were in Boston. As I mentioned earlier, there were a couple events that I may have covered if I were in Boston, like the Buffalo Storm and, and Zelensky coming to the U.S. But I, I just, because I was there with my girlfriend and kind of on vacation, which I never take, uh, I, I was I had the laptop, but I was I was I decided to only really cover stuff if it was like if it was like an enormous enormous story. But I was prepared to. Yeah, I think I just answered Sonic's question. Yeah, I probably would have covered the Zelensky thing if I'd been here. Probably would have covered the Buffalo Storm. Maybe would have covered uh, when Sam Bankman Freed's ex-girlfriend, when it came out that she had was 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 uh, charged with stuff and was cooperating with authorities, but you know. Lexi Case is Tate Modern. Yeah, we stopped in Tate Modern. We were walking by it. It's on the south of the river, south bank of the river. We were walking by it one day, and it's, it's free. We saw a sign that says free. So it said, we go, we'll go in. So we went in for like an hour and then made a gave a little donation when we left. But uh, that was fun. Hey, I got a, I got a, we got a picture from Joe's Crayons. Joe's Crayons says, oops, that's messed up. What am I doing here? 
I did a lot of thinking what to draw next, so I decided to draw something very interesting like this. Don't count on Cartoon Network. Watch streams at Lookner Network. Wow, look at that. Nice drawing. I can't get the whole drawing in. See, it says, don't watch, don't count on Cartoon Network. Watch streams at Lookner Network. In the style of Cartoon Network. Very nice, Joe's Crayons. Always enjoy your drawings. Um, let's talk about this. Um, I want to mention, somebody asked about museums. Mr. Gray Bay is here. Ruben is from, from Buffalo. One moment. Let me. I'll, I'm going to give you if you if you're in London, great museum we went to. By the way, I got on an earlier schedule in London, so hoping to stay a little earlier here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on here. Okay. Lisa Ann Pennington says, wanting to visit the UK, including London. Gail is here. I don't know if I would have covered um, Southwest Airlines. I, I don't know. You know, obviously it's bad what happened. I don't, I don't know if I would have streamed on it. There's only so much you can say, but who knows? Um... So there was this one museum we went to, which was really great. My, my girlfriend had heard about it, and I didn't know anything about it. It was really cool. Uh, it's called the Sir John Sloan Museum. Oh, Cynthia Moon is moderating, too. Cynthia might be a little behind in the stream. Sir John, sorry, Sloan. John Sloan. Sir John Sloan's Museum, not John Sloan. Hang on. Now I'm confusing everybody by showing you what's on the screen. Sir John Sloan's Museum. It's really great. Um, 
Annette says wanted to go there but didn't make it. It's great. So this guy John Sohn was a ver was a very well known, accomplished architect in uh, London, and he passed away in the early 13, 1800s. And his ho he had designed this house, and he had all of these great artworks of art in his house, and had really done an amazing job like he had like designed his house with like theme rooms and uh really cool architecture and he left his house to the country as a museum and the house is basically as he left it in 1837 so look you can see uh sir john Soane's museum is a house museum in Holborn, London, which was formerly the home of neoclassical architect John Soane. It holds many drawings and architectural models of Soane's projects and a large collection of paintings, sculptures, drawings, and antiquities that he acquired over many years. The museum was established during Soane's own lifetime by a private act of parliament in 1833, which took effect on his death in 1837. Soane engaged in his lengthy parliamentary campaign in order to, 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 to get, the, get the house accepted, to get the house donated to the country's museum uh, as in, in order to disinherit his own son, whom he disliked intensely. Uh, the act stipulated that on Soane's death, his house and collections would pass into the care of a board of trustees acting on behalf of the nation and that they would be preserved as nearly as possible exactly in the state they were in at his death. It's really cool. There's just like a lot of really cool rooms and he built the house and he designed them and there's like different features of the rooms and there's all these different mirrors in different rooms and there's a like a like a uh there's like, you know, a room the down the basement is supposed to be like a kind of like a crypt area and then it has like a like a famous mummy a famous Egyptian, t uh, what is it? It's not the mummy. It's like the tomb that surrounds the mummy. And um, yeah, it's just it's just really cool. I just and like he put he put all this thought into how he designed his house, and he has all these different like themes in different rooms. Oh, he also has like he has a room with all this famous art in it. Some of Soane's paintings includes works by Canaletto Hargar, three works by his friend Turner. Uh, he has like a whole room which looks like an art gallery. Anyways, it's really neat. Sarcophagus, yes, as a few of you, Hannah and Rick and Deadwing think sarcophagus. Uh, I'll show you some of the photos I took there, but it's really worth going. Sir John Soane's Museum. It's really cool. Sir, there's Sir, is that what it's called? Sir John Soane's Museum. I think it's free, and you just made a donate. You just make a donation if you want. We made a donation. Uh, let me show you some photos I took there. I can find them, I will. Uh, Rick says the whole building is a 19th century cabinet of curiosities. There it is, right there. They had this really cool thing. Oh, yeah, this room, sorry. Like this room is a room where he would receive like guests, had all this really cool stuff in it and like amazing paintings on the wall and all these like works of art. And like, there's this really cool astronomical clock over here. And then uh, here's the sarcophagus in his basement. He had this, this uh, very like 
important sarcophagus in his basement from ancient Egypt. Although my guess is, I think he got it from some Italian person who probably like, I, I wonder if Egypt would like this back, so I can't really speak to that. Um, then there's this other thing. Here's a staircase. I mean, he just designed everything in this house. It's all this to see in this house. Rick, you as an artist, you would like it, Rick, if you'd never been there. So this is really cool. There's this room. This is like the breakfast room, right? And that's, you know, he can, he designed the whole thing. And there's a ceiling which looks like you're looking out, you know, kind of it's made to look like you're looking outside through like a grating. Um, and there's a drawing in the room of the room. That's a drawing from, I think, 1798. And it's a drawing of Sir John Soane and his wife having breakfast in the breakfast room. That's a drawing that was made in, 18, in 1798. And you look at the room, and it looks just like the drawing. Like, it just shows that the house is, it looks the same way it did. It's amazing. And I was going back and forth between the drawing and the room, and the window's the same, and all the furniture's the same. I, I mean, I know they've done, like, some restoration work and preservation work. But it's just incredible. It was so cool. Right at the end of the right at the end of the museum. Everything in here, like all the all the furniture and stuff, it's just a match. And 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 the displays on the top here and these things over here. See, it's there. It, it it's it's incredible. But again, the agreement with Parliament was to keep the house the way it was when he died. Oh, Rick says I was I was there. Oh, Rick said he recommended it to me. Well, thank you, Rick, for recommending it. I'm sorry I didn't note your recommendation more. Uh, more, uh, I didn't highlight it more. A lot of people recommended stuff, but this was fantastic. It's in uh, Holborn. It's it's a central London. Like, like, I'm not like, like I, when I first heard about, like, like I, I had no great desire to go to museums on this trip. I mean, I love museums, but it was just like, it wasn't like my focus of my trip, but it was really cool. And then they have all these volunteers working there. Like in all practically every room, there's a volunteer and you can just ask them whatever questions you want. And they tell you about the house. Sonic says, let's make a picture of Lookner's kitchen for him to hang in his kitchen. Uh, hang on one second here. Capital J says, I love history that you can see. By the way, uh, I'm on my laptop, and the picture is bouncing a little bit sometimes because the laptop, I have a... The camera is on the table. The webcam is on the cable. So if I lean on the table, sometimes the camera bounces up and down. What I did, I actually got this thing. Um, it's like a stand. I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'll, I'll actually show you what I got. Well, I'll just... So I think someone I think one of you had suggested that I do this. I got a stand for the webcam. So the webcam is not sitting on the top of the laptop because it would be lower. Uh, the the web this webcam stand raises the webcam so it's, it's more at eye level so it looks better than like looking down at the camera. Uh, so I did do that and I actually brought it with me to uh, London. But I'll show you the thing I got. It it does make it. I think I like it a lot better this way. Here. Hang on. 
I'll post a link to it though. You know, it's like it's like this. See the stand? Oops. See how it's like you put this you put your webcam on the stand and you can raise or lower the stand. So you don't have to put your webcam on the top of your laptop and it actually is higher than your laptop. So I have it at eye level right now and it actually makes a significant difference. Um, I'll post a link to it in the chat. Oh, sorry. You know, it says somehow I got muted. Yeah, sorry. Somehow I got muted. Uh, I don't know what muted it. I don't know what did that. I wonder if there's like a... I wonder if there's some sort of keystroke that's muting the mic that I don't know about. Because I looked back and I never pressed the mic button, but the button was red. So anyways, what I was saying is... Um, what I was saying is, yeah, Andrew says some hot, maybe some hot key. I don't know. I, I don't think I've set a hot key for that. I'm not aware there is one. But I'll have to look into it. Sometimes it happens weird things with hot keys. Um, but, uh, so anyways, what I was saying is just, I, I, sw I, I, I'm using one of these webcam stands instead of having the, the webcam resting on the laptop, directly on the laptop, and it, it, it's it's nice. Uh, they're small, but, you know, you can just move the web. You, it, it makes it easier to position the webcam. Okay. And Ted Wing says, I'm now much more excited for my London trip. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's so much to do, and it's not like I did that much. There's so much to do. And I feel like I, I had been there before, so I didn't even do some of the touristy stuff, which which is fun stuff. Like the Tower of London was great, but I did that like 20 years ago. But it just felt like we just like scratched the surface. Shirley says, were you able to visit Longleat? It's a beautiful Victorian mansion. No, I did not. What's next on my travel wish list? Um, I'd really like to go to Japan. I also, we have, we have a bunch of viewers in the Netherlands. That would be great. There's so many places I want to go. I'd like to stop at Austin, Netherlands, more Europe. London is great because you just fly there and it's so easy. You know the language and you just, all of a sudden you're, it's like, you just fly there, and then you're just in this other country. Just in another country. Yeah, I'd love to go to the other places outside of London. I'd love to go to Scotland or Wales or Belf, Northern Ireland, you know, or Ireland. <coughs> Andrew's going to go to Japan this year. Uh, Emma, I've never been to Hampton Court Palace. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing more updates. Um, Darren mentions why I'd love to go to Hawaii. Uh, we're gonna talk more. There's more stuff to talk about with with the London trip. 
so I'll be I'll be doing on on future streams. I will definitely be talking more about some of the things I did. The food on the plate was not great. Well, I got to talk more about some of the food I ate there too. M says you'd enjoy Edinburgh. Is that how you pronounce it? In Scotland, it's beautiful. I'd like to go to Sydney, Australia. That would be fun. Yeah, so so many places, so many places you can go that I'd like to go. Flora says there's so many beautiful places to see. Rick has been to France seven times. I'd love to go back to France sometime. And by the way, I apologize. I I I, I would have liked to have done a stream from London, like walking around. Uh, it just I was so we were so busy, you know, and it just was like it just didn't work out. <laughs> we were just really busy trying to maximize what we were doing there. And it just it never happened that I had like a bunch of time in the middle of the day to do a walking around stream. So maybe next vacation I take. Well, if I go to like a place like the Netherlands where we know viewers, then we would do a bunch of streaming. Definitely. All right. Well, by the way, this at least the microphone, you nobody's gotten like the robotic microphone voice on this stream, which is good because I was having an issue with where, where this robotic voice would happen. Issue with where, where this robotic voice would happen. Issue with where, where this robotic voice. I gotta look into the mic some more. Yeah, it's it, I I have not really gotten into like things you can like adjustments you can make to the microphone and stuff. So at least you guys can hear me. Again, I, I you know, the, the laptop is not something I'd, normally a stream like this, I would just do it on my desktop. This The, the laptop's really for like travel, for emergencies. So I, I don't, uh, it's not like I'm going to be using the laptop every day to stream on, but I, I do like making sure I can do it if need be. I kind of like getting out of the living room too. I think the, the kitchen's a nice place just for a change. I think it's fun to do a stream in a different room. When it gets nice out, maybe I'll set up a little table outside and I'll take my laptop outside and I'll do a stream on the laptop outside. Yes, there is a, a Strive Research. There's going to be a New Year's stream on Saturday night, probably 9 p.m. Eastern time. Linda is here. Oh, it's good to see you, Linda. Yeah, I'm probably going to wrap this up in a few minutes. Um... I'll probably wrap this up in a few minutes. But again, my plan is to definitely stream on uh, for New Year's on Friday, Saturday. Uh, Friday, we have the Patreon thing, the Patreon chat, which we haven't had yet. Yeah, we got to do taco stream too. There's all, I have so many packages back here. I, you guys have sent me all these things. You know, MJ sent me a... a, a we have to do the, the air fryer. And there's so many other things here. We have so many things here that I have to open. So that's going to happen too. No, I did not have tea in London. I did not. My girlfriend was going to do one of those afternoon tea things, but it just never happened. But uh, yeah, the Patreon chat is going to be Friday. And of course, any news, I'm back now, so any big news that happens, I'll cover it. All right. All right I think I'm going to wrap up this live stream. Uh, if there is new big news tonight, I'll cover it. But yeah, I'm back. So um, I will be more available now to stream than I was for the last week. So I appreciate your patience and understanding. 
Uh, I really want to thank our mods for modding. Uh, Sarah has been here modding. Linda Belk just came by. Thanks, Linda. Uh, Ruben, Ruben Urban, great to see Ruben. Danny James was here earlier. Linda says, did you enjoy the trip? We need pictures, just saying. Linda just showed up, and she says, did you enjoy the trip? We need pictures, just saying. Well, Linda, fortunately for you, I just finished a stream where I almost nonstop talked about this trip and showed many pictures. So you, Linda, will be able to rewind the stream and watch it and get a bunch of pictures. Uh, we also had modding. Uh, a moment of lovely and skip foo were here modding. Thank you so much. Linda says, well, awesome. I look forward to rewinding. Yeah, sorry you couldn't make it earlier. We'll we'll talk about it more in a future stream too. I didn't I didn't cover everything. Uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. All the viewers. Oh, thanks, Valentina McKinley. So nice of Valentina McKinley. Thank you. Thanks, Valentina. Thanks all, again. A huge thanks again to Peppis fan. I don't even a Peeps fan. I'm sorry. Incredibly generous of Peeps fan and everybody else who I thanked earlier who donated. It's super nice of you guys. Wow. Thank you. Really kind of you. Um, and thanks to you guys for, for coming by the stream and hanging out. People like Andrew C. Alexi, Kim Zink, Newsroom Pizza, Sid Vicious, April Coco. Hey, Eddie Silovitz, um, Richard Williams, Rick Hoppy, J.A.N.P., Julie A., Catherine of Sweden, Callie Voltaire, Flor Morena, MJ, Lisa Ann Pennington, Annette Kappel, uh, let's see here. M, Joanna77. Digital Connected Media. Mauricio Duque. Edwin Van Buren. Anomaly Documentaries. General Putnam 2. Sonic. Dan McIntyre. Do Your Duty RN. Newsroom Pizza. Look nerd. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's me. I thought there was somebody. We had somebody before who was like using my name. So I thought maybe somebody on Twitch was using the name. I thought somebody on Twitch was using the name Look Nerd. Then I was like, oh, no, wait, on Twitch, my own name is Look Nerd because it's the Twitch channel is Look Nerd, not Look Nerd. I got a little confused there. <laughs> Mini Coop over there on Twitch. Way Red, thanks for watching. Kate Co. Uh, those are some of our Twitch viewers. Andrew Broadwater, thanks, Andrew, for watching. Lee Field, Quote Shamglin. Uh, if I do chapters, I'm going to do it later. Uh, let's see here. Darren Markley, thanks for watching. Anita Modaluski, thanks for watching. Queen of the South, thank you for watching. Shirley Hoyt, thanks for watching. Dead Wing as well. All right, guys. I am... Wrapping this up. Hey, thanks again. Ken Aiken, thanks for watching. Ken, thank you guys so much for joining me. More streams coming soon. I will talk more about the London trip soon too as well. And uh, thanks for coming by. All right, guys. That, oh, Lugner channel on Twitter. Follow Lugner channel on Twitter. And uh, that is it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, your help with the laptop issues as we as I test the laptop out and everything. I really appreciate all your feedback. That's very helpful. So thank you. All right, guys. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. 
and we will see you. And thanks again, moderators. Really appreciate it. And we'll see, and thanks to all the lurkers out there too. Uh, we will see you very, very soon.